I recently published the demo of my game called A Place for Experiments, featuring Gordon, a monster, who patrols the forest, always walking towards a random direction. If he reaches his target, he chooses another random position. If he sees or hears the player, he will chase us. If we manage to escape, he will walk towards the player's last seen position. And if he doesn't find us there, he will find another random position. In this video, I'll explain how this really simple AI works. So, here's the Gordon scene. There is a jump scare detector, but it's not important for this video. Basically, if the player enters this zone, there will be a jump scare, then game over. This collider is called the detector, if the player enters this, no matter how silently, Gordon will see the player and chase him. You can see that it gives a signal to Gordon when a body entered or exited it. Then there's the bigger detector, Gordon doesn't see what's inside that zone, but he can hear it. So if the player is in the bigger detector and makes a sound, like running or shooting, Gordon will hear it and will chase the player. I also have a simple pathfinding system set up, it's really simple, you just have to add a navigation agent to the enemy, setting up the correct sizes, then a navigation region to the ground and collidable objects. You can ignore this variable called is jump scare, it's not important. So the enemy has two states, chasing and wandering. When chasing the player, it will look directly at him. Then we have the navigation agent, its target position will be the player's position, so the enemy will find the shortest path towards the player. As you can see there, Gordon will always move towards his target position. Don't forget to add the move and slide method. The wandering state is a bit more complicated. This line makes him always look at the direction he's going. The has seen variable is false, but I don't think I use this variable anymore, I just forgot to delete it. And the target position is the random pose variable. It's basically a random vector 3 on the map, the numbers are the borders of the map, so he won't go outside it. Basically, if he gets close enough to the random position, or the wonder timer is less than zero, more on that later, then he will generate a new random position. This time, it's not totally random, I made it so the enemy chooses a spot closer to the player. Then I clamp this position with the same coordinates I used for the first random position. And then here's the wonder timer, it's just a timer, so Gordon has 60 seconds to reach his target, otherwise he chooses a new, random one. I made this so he doesn't get stuck between two trees, otherwise he does this occasionally, and doesn't move for the rest of the game. If the player enters this detector field, is chasing will be true. On exit, the variable last pass, which is the player's last seen position, will be, well, the player's position. Random pose will be equal to last pass, because it was easier to do it this way. And is chasing will be false. Then we have something similar to detect if the player is in the bigger detector or not. If he's not, is chasing will be false. If his chasing is true, we'll use the chase method. Speed will be equal to chasing speed, which is a variable you have to declare either in code or in the inspector. And the animation will play twice as fast, like he's running. Else speed is equal to walking speed, we switch back to the wandering state and set the animation speed back to 1. Then we check if the player is running or just shot is true, which is a variable in the gun script, in the shoot method. We will set just shot to false again, and your fucked will be true. Yeah, I didn't think I'd make this tutorial, otherwise I'd have probably used another name for the variable. If the player is in the bigger detector, and you're fucked, then his chasing will be true, and your fucked will be false again. We don't need the last line, I don't know why I left it there. And that's it, it's that simple. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel.
拜。